Lara, I could use your help. Our people are spread thin across the valley. If you light the signal tower, they'll know that the danger is imminent. I'll do what I can. Once the fire is lit, they'll know what to do. You're the one that came with Jacob. I have something to ask of you. The followers of the Prophet fled, but they were attacked in Syria. What can I help you with? Jacob told me you've got a knack for exploring. There are more old places, tombs, all around the valley. You may have seen the wards placed there to frighten children. It's not superstition. Those places are dangerous, but they also hold relics of our former glory. Not just trinkets, but knowledge. I believe we need that wisdom now more than ever. A decade ago, I'd have gone myself, but now I could use your skills. The scouts tell me you've already been inside one of the old tombs. Would you share what you've learned with us? Of course. They belong to your people. We don't have much, but I have these old coins. If gold has value to you, I can give you some for every secret you find. sort of marker. Byzantine script, but I can't quite make it out.
Aurora, the physician. The road to Katesh was long and hard. Infirmity, illness, and injury abounded. Aurora was a believer trained in the ways of Hippocrates and the great Roman healers. It is because of her that so many survived the journey to Katesh. It is her legacy that knowledge of healing continues to be passed down among believers.
Thank you, Lara. Our people have been warned. That should give them time to evacuate. Meet me in the upper village. I'm gathering our forces here. All right. Jacob, helicopters are headed your way. Get here as fast as you can. Get behind the barricades. Move, move. Surrender at once. Resist. Look out! Stay under cover. Pull back. Lay Stay together. Where is the Divine Source? Tell me! Stop! Don't hurt anyone else! Where is it? Wait! Wait! There's a map! The Atlas! It will show you the way! Okay. Tell me about this Atlas. Hey. Oh! 
Oh shit! Oh shit! should have killed her. You have nothing to show for your efforts. Perhaps she'll succeed where you're failing. I will not fail! Trinity will step in if you do. And you know what that means? I'm expendable. They have no interest in my survival. I need the power of the Source! <coughs> and you will have it. Don't lose faith, Anna. This is God's will. Our success is inevitable. Please, just find it. My time is running out. Endured so much. These final barriers you have set before me. These sins you have forced me to commit. They must have a purpose. Only you can show me the way. Grant me strength to continue for her, for you, for Trinity. Please. Show me the way. Stay with me. Stay with me. I'm sorry. Your people don't deserve this. It is our chosen path. Our duty. It's never been easy. I understand what it's like to lose people. Trinity won't stop, will they? I doubt it. They have many resources. And the Atlas? It's an ancient map to the old city. But Trinity won't find it at that tower. Many of my people live in those ruins. They won't be prepared for what's coming. I can help them, Jacob. Will you do this for us? Or for that which you seek? Right now, they're one and the same. I'll be back with reinforcements after I tend to the wounded. Yes. I need bandages. What is it? We're in bad shape, Jacob. The attack left us in shambles, and we have no one to send to the Acropolis. I know. I'll see to the wounded here. We have to get them to someplace safe. When that's done. Is there anything you need? Anyone still able to fight? Sophia will hold them off until we can arrive. It's going to be I hope to God you're right. I'll send a runner when we're ready. Take the shoes. We can use those boots. We should strip them down and burn the corpses. They deserve no better. Maybe, but we don't have the time. Just take what we can use. We're heading out? As soon as we can move the wounded. We should leave them a message, like the Athanatoi. Put their heads on stakes. 
We'll send them a message by surviving. Make sure you take those rifles. We'll need them. I still can't see straight. Fires still rage in the outer districts. The last of the wooden buildings will be consumed by nightfall. The heart of our city is gone, buried beneath the ice. I can take some small solace in the fact that the Mongol invaders were killed, alongside the Prophet's warriors who died to save us. And the Prophet himself? No one has seen him since the morning after the siege ended. We need his wisdom. Now more than ever, we do not have enough food to feed those who survived. Some believe the worst is over, but I fear that is not the case. Everything's below. I can't save the leg. The wound is too severe. Hold still. What do you... I'm trying. What are you saying? God, I have to cut it off. I'll try and I'm sorry. No! But I can't promise. So I no, you can't! So much in the attack. You're not taking my leg! You will not! I'm no help if I can't fight! Then you will die, do you hear me? Your leg will rot and it will kill you. Do you want that? Don't take my leg. Please. You're lucky. If they'd gone through all the way, you would have bled out. Lucky? I won't oh, let you. Damn you, that hurts! It's going to hurt no matter what I do. I can't you were shot. Know that. Now, hold still. Where is your father? Why is his apprentice pulling bullets out of me? He was at the Mongols Tower before the I'm sorry. Hello. Hello. You fought like the devil out there. You've done this before. I guess I have. Here. I think these rounds will do more good in your hands. I need to listen to your breathing. Hello again. You fought well. I'm glad I could be here. How are you feeling? Is there anything I can do? No. We're just waiting to see the physicians. Uh, who is that? I don't recognize. Just let me do the talking. Hello. Looks like we were wrong to doubt you. We're honored to have you fight alongside us. Take these shells if you're going after them. Put them where it will hurt.
should be a way to get across. Perhaps I could use a rope. Some kind of burial chamber. A basket made of silver. Certainly meant to be decorative, but someone's been using it to carry grain. Someone broke into this place in the dead of night. They filled their pockets with coin, turned over urns of oil and wine, and saw fit to show disrespect to all that are interred here. It shreds my heart to think that one of our own could be so callous as to desecrate this place, all for a momentary earthly gain. We must find a way to keep this place safe, even from our own brothers. I can use the other spool to get the raft closer to the island. far from our home, but that does not make us barbarians. When our loved ones pass on, as far too many have this season, we treat them with respect. When we did not yet have a vineyard to produce wine, we washed the dead with lake water. When we lacked the loons to spin the death shroud, we wrapped our departed in skins and hides. We carried few coins with us, but now we forge our own, so that our blessed dead can pay passage to the next world. I only wish that the price was not so high. The very man.
Interesting. If they embalm their dead. A golden chalice fit for a king. Or a prophet. It was made here in Katash. I wish you could see the view from my tent, Lara. The dig looks so beautiful in the early evening, when the last embers of the sunlight dying upon a good day's work. Then, one by one, the fires are lit, and the smell of roasting meat wafts across the camp. They tell me that it's guinea pig. I declined it. Roth ate too. Maybe next time I'll bring you out here too.
How did your history test go? Those were my happiest memories, Dad. Being out on the digs with you. Especially when you gave me my own little plot to excavate. I liked that. Feeling that I was part of something important. I aced that test, by the way. Oh, now I see. It speaks of something hidden. Jacob, it's a mess up here. There's no sign of your people. Sophia might have taken them into the catacombs beneath the tower. But I've lost contact with her. All right, I'll look for her there. We're almost done evacuating the wounded here. I'll join you soon. Too late. I want answers, but what choice do I have now? I can't let Trinity wipe these people out. There are lines here that I crossed a long time ago, and there's no going back. I've got to help them. It's clear that Jacob's people would die for him, and he for them. That kind of loyalty is rare, and to find it here at the ends of the earth is truly remarkable. If I fight with them, perhaps Jacob will trust me enough to tell me what's really going on. Oh God, no. Our ancestors came here as men and women fleeing Byzantium. They wandered into a wild that almost killed them, but they survived and found this valley. And how did they honor this gift from God? 
by tearing the stones from the mountains and building a new empire. A mocking echo of that which almost destroyed them. But like the Tower of Babel, God saw fit to cast us down and to make us humble. We learned to listen to the land, to become stewards, not conquerors. And in turn, the land has offered up its secrets. You only have to listen. The creatures of this valley were unfamiliar to us, once. But now they are our brothers and sisters as much as any relative of blood. You can learn much about the creatures of our valley from the hunters, but they find worth in death. We must also find the gifts our brothers give while they are still alive. In the nests of birds, you'll find feathers for the fletches to craft arrows. Ask for what you need, and the valley will provide. It has been months since the snows of the mountain buried the heart of Katesh. We sent men to search for survivors or food, but none have returned. Sounds drift up from the glaciers, but if people still lived entombed inside, I do not know. It could be the shifting ice, but I will be the first to admit, it sounds like the voices of men. Perhaps the ghosts of the Prophet's warriors still patrol the frozen streets. We will send no more of our people inside. We have to accept that the Prophet and the city are lost to us, and that we are now on our own. <laughs> 